joins us now with more on some of these changes. Well, Ben and Lourdes, as you know, mayors past and present have referred to Chicago as a sanctuary city for immigrants. But today, amendments to the city's welcoming city ordinance, taking legal protections a step further, instituting policies to protect the due process rights of Chicago's immigrants. It's been a, a really difficult challenge since he was detained and now deported. Miguel Lopez describing the trauma of losing brother Jesus Alberto Lopez, known as Beto, to deportation last June. Beto pictured with family deprived of due process at a traffic stop, his lawyers say, detained by police who transferred him to Federal Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE for short, his deportation sending Beto's family into crisis. He was like one of the main providers for my parents um, who are have been unemployed because of the pandemic. With a stroke of a pin, your rights will be at long last fully protected. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot and a group of determined aldermen and community groups pushing back with a newly amended welcoming city ordinance. We are a sanctuary city. Now we have a robust protection and undocumented immigrants. A truly welcoming city means we have to walk the walk and protect everyone's due process rights. Chicago's welcoming city ordinance forbids police from stopping or arresting a person based solely on the suspicion about their immigration status. It blocks police from providing support to federal immigration enforcement operations, and it prevents city agencies from requesting, maintaining, or sharing immigration status. The changes after years of controversial federal immigration and customs enforcement raids across the country and here in Chicago. Harsh Trump administration policies on immigration, criticized by human rights groups, drawing fire. Zero tolerance enforcement at the border, among other things, resulting in thousands of tragic cases of migrant toddlers and very young children forcibly separated from their parents. The same cruelties causing separation in Chicago. They created a situation where undocumented Chicagoans could be deported before receiving their day of court, before being able to prove their innocence. But today, immigrant communities across the city celebrating. To the women who lost husbands and had to take care of their children on their own. To all of those people, today we dedicate this moment. Backers of the ordinance say that today's protections will protect the vulnerable and assist in Chicago police investigations of criminal activity by making the undocumented or someone related to an undocumented individual less fearful to provide information to city police and building up the trust.